We're still clearing fence line here, guys. Hey, Pete. Are you cold this morning? Stirring around. It's getting down in the 20s now at night. They do use their shelter. They've been sleeping in that shelter. They like bury themselves in there. Let's see. Where's the piggies at? Where are you at? There they are. <laughs> <laughs> all right i won't bother you they're getting warm in there i don't love these energizers they work to an extent i need to hook up a real deal charger i think they do hit this line here and it is electrified even just a little bit it does shock them but i feel like it needs to be stronger <laughs> i just don't want them to get out i've been throwing food in here just to kind of get them in there to root up some of these brambles and... I've never raised pigs in the winter before. Usually right about now, in November, December is when we would butcher them. Not just starting to get them, which we just got these three. Having to deal with frozen water hasn't been really of an issue for me with pigs, but this winter is going to be extra special. Luckily where we're at, it doesn't get too bad. I mean the sun's going to come out. By the time the sun comes out, everything's going to melt down. You going to let me touch you? It's alright. How about you? How about you? That's alright. Still a little skittish. It's best to touch them when they're eating like this. They'll let you usually. get used to me guys you better get used to me I do need to get more feed so I'm looking into that and I need to start measuring their feed uh, as we go forward yeah not too bad a little thin layer of ice animals they don't care how cold it is they don't care that it's 20 degrees you know they don't care if it's snowing they don't care if it's raining so they still have to be fed. Morning, beefy boys. I'm coming. They have the furry coats on. You gonna let me pet you? All right, I won't bother you. That's the dominant one, the one that always moves at me. I've never heard this one moo. This little one, little brother, little brother doesn't moo. Not, not a word. They look like big bears with their furry coats. In the colder months, I like to get out there a little bit later because it is so cold, you know, before we start doing a project. We got potatoes, eggs, simple breakfast today before we get out there, before we do our next project. Another day of clearing fence line today. So far I've done about 180 feet. We have an overgrown fence line that's been neglected for years. My goal for this winter is to clear this fence line so that way we can use it by spring of next year. And I have help this time. My friend Mike's here. I got reinforcements. <laughs> he's brought he's brought his uh, toys. Yes, my man toys. You got the farm boss. That's awesome. And he's got the big chainsaw blade on his edger here. So me and Mike have a deal. He came he come and help me with my fence line, right. and then I come and help him with his place. Yep. Yeah. Because right. what do you need to done at your place? We've got a bunch of wood chips we need spread, and I need someone to run a tractor while I load the uh, manure spreader with wood chips. Yeah. 
he's got all the cool toys so yeah. um that should be fun so i said yeah sure i could use the help he could use the help so why not some of this fence line is down on the ground so just to be careful yeah there we go so even if we have to move it up over yeah, you know, some... is it attached down there well at the end there it's definitely broken okay so yeah i just been trying to be careful be mindful of it I mean, it's, it goes all the way down yeah. on the floor here so what'd you say this was i believe it's chinese privet yeah we've got it along the edge of the woods on our farm just a giant weed <laughs> that yeah. probably is never gonna go away no i mean my sheep eat it a little bit but oh really yeah what app are you using plant id no oh, this says uh, european privet so right. some some type of privet yeah either way yeah. <laughs> i guess privets are not great no. not on a fence line at no, least definitely not on a fence line yeah see after you get past this privet Right. It kind of goes into like little trees yeah, that's up what, there. It's going to look like I did a whole lot more than you. <laughs> yeah. Good how thin it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. I mean, it's thinner right here. Right. <laughs> but this is probably the thick of it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I could just, I'm just going to clear out a little room for me to work and then I can work back that way. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, like we don't have to take down these giant trees. Oh. Yeah. Just this bush. Yeah. Yeah, but I might grab that chainsaw and have at it yeah we might should do that and pull this stuff out or out that way and then come back with the trailer yeah. I think we, that was pretty quick for like, that seemed like it was only like 20 minutes. Yeah, all this, um, what is it, what is even this, briars? It's a mix, there's some blackberry cane, and then I don't know what that vine is. But I think if we cut it from each side close, then we can probably pull it away. Another tool to clear a fence line, look at this. I don't even know, I don't even know what it's called, but it, all I know, it just looks like some kind of crazy battle axe. It does chop things. we're cutting these trees down we're just kind of throwing everything in a pile back there honestly just kind of deal with it later I guess but it'd be awesome if I could wood chip it at some point come back around well that was a close call almost got the camera there What's that? almost got you guys I'm talking to I'm talking to them <laughs> Look at this. This was probably one of the bigger bushes here. That bush fell on the fence, so we gotta clean that up. Get it off the fence line there. A lot of fence wires. This is a loop right there. Okay. Just so you get I'll check it out. That. Okay.
All right, we did it. Started over there, you know, a few weeks ago. We started here today, and then look at all this that we've done. I think we did another 180 feet. Thanks to Mike. Thanks for coming, Mike. Yeah, you're very welcome. D definitely with two people, you know, it's like faster, twice as fast. You know, we just put basically put all the brush into a pile out there, and then we just cleared this fence line. It wasn't, I don't feel like it wasn't too bad. Um, you know, it's just like a bush basically that we cleared, but I would say that this is probably the, the worst of it because as you get higher, you get some pine trees and those are not going to be so, um, cumbersome. So thanks for coming out, Mike. Yeah, I appreciate you're it. You're very welcome. I can't wait. I can't wait to get to your property and, and help you. Oh, definitely. <laughs> we'll definitely do it. We just cleaned up and I want to show you guys what we did here. This whole fence line here, we cleared all these bushes that we cleared here. Everything's off the fence line. I went from that corner all the way to right there. Something that would take me three days to do, we did it in about three hours. Actually, what I'm doing is I'm filling up this water bucket because we've been having freezing temperatures at night. And I found that if we fill up a water bucket, a five gallon bucket, the night before, and then put it over here in our small barn, it's surrounded by hay and straw, and then it doesn't freeze overnight. So in case we need to give one of the animals fresh water, it's not frozen. <laughs> Good posture. It's get down to probably about 25 degrees lately. So we try to give all the animals water in the evening first. So that way we don't have to do it in the morning. Three little pigs, three little pigs. How you doing pigs? What are you up to? Hey pigs, hey pigs, I've been trying to pet them, they're still a little jumpy when I touch them, sometimes. How you doing pigs? How you doing pigs? They're definitely drinking their water. The water used to be up high this way. And they're using the nipple. They're doing a lot of rooting up. And this is hard compacted soil right here in this spot. And they love all this straw. I wanted to show you this fence line and show you that, you know, it's not that bad. I mean, this is just some vines and some, maybe some blueberry bushes, but look at this. It's mainly just grasses. You know, once we get past that side, this side's gonna be a lot more easier as we continue to move along this property and move up the mountain here. I'm hoping to finish this fence line by spring. I mean, that's only like five months from now. So in five months, I should be able to do it, right? I don't know. We'll see. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to see our other videos, I made a playlist of all the videos I've, I'm doing on clearing our fence line. I'll leave that link right here. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.